Your brand entirely depends on how you make the audience feel. And if you've ever seen Daniel Dalin, you felt it. I think it's very fair to say that my content has been blowing up. People don't, people don't see how far we've come, man. Hi everyone, today we are going to create the crazy animation which you saw at the start. You know, the way we card, okay, that animation. Today we will be learning about a new trick, okay, so get ready. First, as you can see, there is a black, a white background. So what we can do is head on to new, solid, and you know, create this white background, hit OK. Okay, so we'll be using this. Okay, so this I got from Google. Okay, and and everything will be in the description, the asset folder, so you can follow along. So basically what we have to do is put pictures inside this for the post. So I have taken Ronaldo's photo. Okay, and what we are going to do is, you know, put it inside this. So I'm just going to hit scale to make it big. Okay, something like this. Okay. And then I'll simply, you know, hit this square and then we'll match this. And now I'll simply hit this open mask, select mask path and select these corners, extend them. You know, then select these and extend them like this. Okay. So after doing this, okay, select numerous photos and by following the same style, create many copies okay okay so i have created two photos and i will be you know duplicating this to create many copies okay because we want to move ahead with the animation and not waste time with the design so as you can see here it is laid out in this format at the beginning okay so what we'll be doing is first making it 3d okay and after making it 3d first we have to arrange it so hit r on both of them okay hit ctrl alt home to bring the anchor point to the center Now, what I'll do is head on to new, bring in a camera, okay, and now I'll hit P and, you know, drag this back in the Z axis, okay. Now I'll be just making copies, okay, nothing else, I'll be just making copies and put it one behind the other. Okay, so after you have arranged this, okay, next thing that we have to do is do the animation. So for that, as you can see here, it's coming and then it's opening up. Okay, so in the start, it's closed up and it's coming out and opening up. So just select everything. Okay, hit P. Okay. And hit R. So hit position keyframe and hit X rotation. Okay, these two you have to hit. Go ahead and then again hit both of these. Now, what we have to do is simply, you know, drag this position in the center like this. Okay. After dragging it in the center, you know, we have to separate them to make gap between them. So before that, just hold this X rotation and I will go on to photo one and make it straight like this. Okay. And then we have to do the same for all the images. Now, while selecting all of these, I'll hit U select everything okay hit f9 open this and drag this to the left 
now we have to create gaps between these so after this comes in again we have to select these hit p okay and then go only position keyframe and then we have to start you know making gap now i'll drag this in z forward like this okay and then you know in the same way i'll drag this too now what i'm going to do is open this up hit point of interest and position go ahead around here again hit this too go to the first keyframe and select this okay this totally towards cursor tool and holding mouse just drag up okay like this and then could be zoomed out like this hit at night and then drag this to the left and now i'll you know select this pan under cursor tool and put this over here now the interesting part is doing this okay so after this comes in you know what we have to do is do this wave animation okay so to do that what we have to do is first of all right click new select null object okay rename this and new alkyl in capital letters make it 3d right click again bring another null object and rename this to controller okay now select this controller head on to effects and you know search for expression controls and then hit slider control rename this now rename this slider control to max distance and now hit control d to copy it and we name this to strength okay now what we have to do is just increase this to something like this okay and make this 3d also now in the description i will give you an expression which you have to put okay so i'll just open this okay photo 4 and hit p on this to open position keyframe hit alt on this and click hold alt and click this and then this will come cut it okay and paste it over here okay now after doing this just do the same thing okay just copy this and do the same thing for all the photos okay remember to do it for all the photos okay okay now the next thing is this way we we have found it now we have to do the animation okay so simply okay when it's coming here we have to just you know select this null okay and hit p for position and hit the keyframe go ahead and again hit the position keyframe and now go to the second keyframe and drag this over here okay select both of these f9 and drag this closer like this hit new create another null object okay and after that make it 3d and then connect this camera to this null and then from here what i can do is hit p for position go ahead and then zoom this in like this hit f9 drag this to the left okay so it will look something like this and then we have to do this animation okay so this cursor will go and then this will come out so now let's say we want you know photo number five okay we want or let's do photo number four okay yeah now i'll you know and hit these keyframes go ahead 
something like this and then you have to just you know drag it up like this and you know change your cutoff okay as you can see we have almost done with the animation but when this comes up we want everything else to be blurred so i'll hit new adjustment layer okay and then what i can do is bring this here select cause and blur in effects and pieces and put it on this and hit on blurriness go ahead again now increase hit u and then f9 okay now i'll drag this to the left now as you can see everything is getting blurred but we want you know everything to be blurred except this image so what we are going to do is select this okay pen tool and while selecting the pen tool drag the outlines of this image okay now after this open this up and head on to mask and invert it now let's see as you can see leaving this image everything else is blurred okay this is the effect we were going for now you can you know make this more aesthetic by first of all i'll add one new adjustment layer and tag here fosterize time and put it on this adjustment layer and make it 12 okay so this animation becomes slower and looks more aesthetic as you can see yeah now we can also add you know vignette and put it on this and at last what we can do is bring the image of this cursor make it 3d that edge to make it small okay and then we'll start from here okay hit p for position keyframe go wait what we can do is actually start from the end okay and then at the end what we can do is when it comes over here we just move along with this and then select these f9 and then track this okay so uh, as this effect will look like as if the cursor is hovering out of these images and then when it zooms in i'll first click ctrl shift b to make it a i'll hit ctrl shift c to make this a compound clip and then hit this and then from here you know after this is over again i'll open p for position keyframe go ahead and bring it here okay hit f9 so our animation will look something like this okay now let's bring this below this adjustment layer 